featuring comedians of heavy metal, Don Jameson and Jim Fortin. All right, everybody, so uh, we are here at the Broken Goblet tonight for Thanks for the Laughs 3. You know these guys are two-thirds of that metal show, Jim Florentine and Don Jameson, and they are both on Metal Blade Records. They've got multiple CDs with uh, Metal Blade Records. Guys, how you doing? What's going on, Good. man? We're two-thirds of a canceled show. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know, we're here just to talk some turkey, right? That's, what do you mean? That's bad. Don's a vegetarian, so he doesn't talk turkey. Get out of here. So tomorrow is, yeah. like, absolutely pointless for you. No, I mean, there's no meat and beer, so yeah, all right, It'll be good. Yeah, so you know, one thing I wanted to talk about with you guys, because obviously, you know, we've had a chance. You and I have talked a lot more than Jim and I, obviously. But what uh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a really good question. Yeah. But uh, no, well, obviously, we talked about communication breakdown, and then we got to catch up up in Brooklyn when Brian was doing his signing for uh, for the sake yeah, of right happiness. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, when it comes to your material, you know, as comedians, you know. Is everything scripted ahead of time? Is that your style? Or do you find yourself doing any improv when you're up there? No, a little of both. Yeah. You know, it just depends with the crowd. Sometimes you just want to do your set, then other times the crowd's yelling shit out. You want to mix it up with them. You know, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it all, you know. You got to be prepared for anything. You got, yeah, exactly. You got to like, be prepared for like, whatever. Like last time, there was some people who were a little. I heard you start a fist fight, yeah. Well, I didn't, you know, but then when he mentioned it to me, I was like, I don't know, that that's happened 20 <laughs> times since then. I don't, I don't remember from last year when we did it, but so yeah, I mean, the more there's some comics who like to come out and they just, and they have it all in their head exactly the way they want to do, it, and they do it the same way every night. To me, that's boring. Now, I also don't want somebody screaming my whole set either. But if the crowd's playful, that's always more fun for me. Right, right. Now, have either one of you ever been in a situation where like you had this plan, you know, like for your show? And on your way there, something happened. And you're like, oh, man. You know, like, I, I, got, I could go off on a tangent about this for, like, my entire set. Has anything like that ever happened? Well, sometimes if you're in a, a little small town, you can make fun of something you saw coming in. Right. Or whatever, you know. So, and then people laugh. You know, like a local joke yeah. you always get. Yeah, like we play in a place in Ohio that there's still an Arthur Treacher's across the street. There hasn't been an Arthur Treacher's since, like, 1977. So... You know, stuff like that. But are you talking about, like, news, like current events? Well, you, well, yeah. Or you or, saw or, something you Or even, like, you're something. coming down right. the turnpike tonight to the Broken Goblet, you know, and you saw some, we you didn't know, take the turnpike, car broken no. down. and you know, However the hell took, you came down road, here. So. I don't know how you came down here, <laughs> you know, but, you, you know, you see no, some. but you said the turnpike. Well, however you came down. You came out from, what, Jersey, I'm, I'm assuming? Well, I. Which were just I, over I the border. I don't know which way he came from. Well, I mean, you could see something on any road, whether it's a local road. But not really road on a local road. Right. There's not really much happening. But you know what I'm talking it's about. Just Especially the night of all nights. You know, there's going to be checkpoints set up all over the place, you know. So for anyone who's... Where? I don't know where. But they're going to be there. And that's why I'm not drinking, because I know I'm going to be busted, even though we've got awesome In New Jersey, they have to, legally, they have to put it in the paper. Oh, in really? In the newspaper, yeah. Like on the website, they'll bury it on like the local... Really? Whatever. Yeah. So, but they have to legally they have to put it in there where they're going to put a checkpoint. So if you're smart, you look it up. Well, I don't know how it is in PA, but I just know that you know. Will they be on the turnpike? I'd be screwed. I don't know. Who takes the turnpike? I, I yeah. I mean, but if there's no cops on the turnpike, it might go that way. Well, where I was going with this was you know. The, the, yeah, the, it's anything's comedy. I mean, you can you know. you know this is comedy. Like what any situation that happens, and then yeah, we, especially with news, like you check your Twitter at the light for two seconds, something new happens. So that you know you can always bring all that stuff into your performance. Yeah. Now you know for you guys, obviously Don, you've always said you've got one foot in comedy, <laughs> one foot in metal, Jim. You know that's the same for you, I take it. No, the other foot's in pussy. <laughs> Just, you just broke a two month slump. So, so, I wouldn't get, you know, get that cocky. So, so there is some True. truth to this then, there, what you were talking about earlier. So you, you, just, you just had a big score, huh? Oh, well, yeah, it wasn't that big. Well, yeah. kind of. Big in what way? Well, I was, was drunk, so I was she was double, big so I'm not yeah. sure. All right. All yeah. right. She was a jersey six and a half of a Tampa three. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to get some good zingers about that tonight, then, I guess. Uh, no, fun. no, I look, no, well, well, music's always been, you know, you always, sure. well, even if I was working in an office, I'd still be in the music, so, yeah. it's just being a fan, yeah. and going to shows. We wear concert like. shirts on stage, I mean, so people know, you know, we're rock guys, we're not, yeah. we're not Seinfeld, we don't wear a suit and tie, you know, stuff like that, we don't have props, we just have concert shirts and dick jokes. <laughs> 
Seriously, is there any particular kind of topics that you intentionally stay away from as a comedian? No. Because no? No. Nothing's out of bounds, huh? No, I mean, you know, if you can make it funny, if you got a good angle for it, you just do it. All right. You know, if someone, you know, can't worry about someone not liking it. You don't know what someone's going through. You know, we can't do a survey before we walk in. Hey, I'm going to talk about divorce. Anyone going through a divorce? Maybe right. that doesn't want me to bring it up. You're just out having a good time tonight? Cause yeah. I'll, I'll change all that. You know, you don't know. So you just fucking do it. And if they don't like it, like, all right, well, sorry. It's like when you see a movie and there may be a disturbing scene where it might freak you out. Like, well, you know, the director wasn't thinking of you when he was uh, do doing a film. Like, this might offend some guy in fucking Pennsylvania. <laughs> you know, he got scared when he was a little kid and he doesn't like to go in the dark places either, so... You know, you don't really worry about that shit. Yeah. Now, you guys have been boys for a long time. You ever bounce material off one another? Have, have, have you ever taken any of Jim's jokes? Have you ever taken any of Don's jokes? No, like, they, don't, any... they don't, you don't usually, you don't steal jokes. But yeah, we can bounce, you know, I'll watch a set and I'll go, hey man, you should put this at the end. Usually you know when I mean? we make an album, I'll say, hey, I'm working down local, right off the turnpike. And um, if you want to come down and... <laughs> what do you mean off the turnpike? Well, you know, like wherever that place is. Pennsylvania Turnpike, Jersey Turnpike, you're just yeah. busting I my you just balls take a local at this road. point. But, you know. Yeah, but I don't, you, it's off the turnpike. You can take a local road. So I'll say, come down and watch the set. I'm going to record my album in a month. Could you give me some, maybe you could help me out. So he'll do that, and then I'll do that for him. A lot of comics will bring like, you know, like four or five writers and sit in the back of the room when they're ready to do a special. Seriously? Yeah. And they'll just go, hey, man, if you can help me with any jokes, maybe you could put a little line at the end of it or whatever like that, or maybe take it in this direction. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sure. But we usually, I just, I bounce, you know, he'll come see the set one time, you know, I'll bet, and then if I still need some help, I'll text a few comic friends. I'll go, ah, I still need something for this. Do you have anything? And But yeah, mostly we just do our own stuff. I can't, I couldn't, if I wanted to do his stuff, I couldn't do it because I don't, we don't have the same Plus style. Plus he, he doesn't have a big dick, so how is he going to do my material? How do you know that, yeah. man? You guys shower together or what? Nah, well, we took a bath once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the shower wasn't working. <laughs> It's more romantic to take a bath. It is more intimate. You know? That's yeah. true. You know, a few candles. All right. You into bath oils? You, know, you, you go there. Made our own oil. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, all right. So th this is your third time mm -hmm. here doing stuff with the Broken Goblet. Now, the, and the venue is going to be moving. But you got, you know, obviously at this point you've got a bit of a history with these guys. What is it about the Broken Goblet that you like playing down this neck of the woods? They pay us cash. Okay. All right, so that's, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, give us free beer. And we don't have to take the turnpike to get here. All right, there you go. There you go. So good yeah, craft brew. No, no, look, points. we like coming, man. It's a great crowd, and they're, they're really cool, the owners, and they have us every, you know, day before Thanksgiving for the last three years, and we're usually off, so it's perfect for us, you know? That's not that far. It depends what road you take to get here, but it's still, it's not that bad. Yeah, the local roads take a little longer. All right, yeah, well, you know, you can get, you know, a, a billion ways and a billion different uh Wait, I'm cutting all this out, man. Why? You're not cutting out. You're not cutting this out. Oh, I, I got to get cut, him roast Cut everything me, else but that out. Yeah, yeah. No, roast me. Roast no, these me. Guys, these guys, are they're phenomenal dudes. They support creative people. You'll see paintings on the wall yeah. inside. They have, you know, they have, you know, musical artists play here. They have comedians play here. And um, I played. They do an outdoor festival every year. I did that one year. And because of that, he said, hey, why don't you come do Thanksgiving Eve? And I said, well, yeah, I'll, I'll bring Jim with me. And, and now cool. we made a tradition out of it. And That's cool. They make, and I'm a big beer drinker. They make phenomenal beers. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and like I said, they're going to move into a, a new spot. So, you know, yeah. hopefully uh, next year we'll do it in the new place. Very cool. Very cool. So, so uh, you got to take the, the turnpike to get there. There's no other way to get there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right on. So... <laughs> I'd rather, you know, you never know if you take the turn by. Then could, what? No, you could see something like, oh man, I can talk about that on stage. That's true. We still got time before the show. Maybe we should go hit the turnpike and see if there's anything funny We do have some there. time. Jesus, you're killing me. Rest Something's areas. Well, local, Am I right? It's a local road. You don't know, find anything, but. Now, and this so is a little bit. Yeah. When we were driving. Yeah, you got to, dude, we're in full blown hunting season too right now. You could get a, an arrow shot through your car on the way see, up, that's back funny. up the turnpike. So you got to be careful, man. You know, someone shoots out your tire. You don't want to get stranded on the turnpike. That would suck. Yeah. But anyhow, 
So in terms of size of crowds and stuff, tonight we're going to be in a little bit more of a, you know, an intimate sized room. Mm-hmm. But, you know, from what I heard, size does not intimidate either one of you guys. What's like the largest so crowd? Size, unless size unless I'm in prison. Size doesn't matter to you. There, that, hey, well, you know, I mean, it, no, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, that's good to know. Does it matter to you? I, uh, I'm not gay. Uh, if, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not judging, Jim. I'm not I'm judging. Not, I'm not judging. You know? Yeah. You're the one who says size doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. You want me to leave you two yeah. guys alone? I don't know. Yeah, well, they probably got some nice rooms up off the turnpike, you know? They do, so, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, but this is the, the idea of this is that it's intimate. We're in a brewery, right. but they have a performance space, and that's the right. idea. It's right. like, I'm only going to sell 85 tickets, you know, right. and then with some guests, you can really just only pack about 100 people in there. Sure. And that's the idea. It's like it's you, you get to see a pretty good show in, in, in an intimate spot and and we like it too because you could see everybody you know it, it's um, it's uh, it's a smaller th- than a place we usually play but you could be interactive with people so it'd be fun yeah. no even the most famous comedy room pretty much on a planet the comedy show in New York City holds 85 people yeah okay. Okay. you know so it but doesn't stand matter stand in New York yeah, yeah or to stand 70, the, not even 75 yeah, something people like that. so it doesn't yeah I mean you know small crowd big crowd it doesn't matter alright well that's you know. just what I was getting at yeah. like do you have a preference in terms of the size sometimes of the, the smaller crowds are better you yeah. know the bigger crowd you almost it's tough to you know you can't connect with it's tougher to connect with. We've just opened for Stone Sour and Corn, was it? Yeah. Did you really? Wow, that's awesome. Well, no, Stone Sour yeah, for the yeah. Rock on the Rain. You know, and there was like, what, 2,000, 2,500 people. Yeah. And you have to do a different set because, you, you know. You have to work a different way. You yeah. have to work okay. a different way because you're in a big venue and stuff. And then something like this, it's, they're right on top of you and it's perfect. Okay. A comic would rather much work like this than yeah. 2,500, you know, people standing. Playing. Now, is that like the largest crowd that you've ever played to? Or have you played to crowds even larger than that? No, we've done we've done bigger crowds than that. I've done you know I toured with like Slayer, Megadeth, and Anthrax, and done you know arenas. So I've done that you know fifteen thousand or so. And we did Metallica's Orion Fest, so that was yeah, that was yeah. Um, even you know Rock in the Range, that's about two thousand somewhere yeah. in there, twenty five hundred people in the comedy tent. So that's a, yeah, but for a comic, that's a big that's a big crowd. Like you said, right, I mean, right. with a crowd like that, it's almost like you're just looking at a point to the back of the room because you're trying to connect with everybody as opposed to a smaller room. But a gig's a gig, man. Right. You know, I, I'm as excited to play in front of 2,500 people as I am in front of 25, as long That's as awesome. both audiences are great. Yeah, no, very, very cool. Now, obviously, you guys, you, you have your own sets that you're going to be doing, you know. I guess you're going first, and then you're going to be the headliner, so to speak. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, no. we'll figure it out. I Mark yeah. Riccadon is on the show with us. Who's sitting over here? Okay, all you right, should, you cool. Talk right, to on. Him. right on. Okay, all right. So, um, have you guys ever thought about doing like any Abbott and Costello type tag team thing? You know, where you're both up there, kind of feeding off one another, doing. Uh, nah, I mean it doesn't really huh? work with comedy. With you no. know, with teams, there's no real comedy teams out there. Not really. Yeah, but we, work, we do. We do a lot yeah. of projects together. We do. We do hidden camera pranks. Okay. Yeah, you know, meet. The, we do these videos called Meet the Creeps, and we have terrorizing telemarketer CDs where we mess with telemarketers together. So when we work together, okay. it's off the stage. No, I knew you had a CD like that. I, I don't think I knew that you had done anything like that. So yeah. it was, was kind of like Jerky Boys style. Except incoming calls. Like, yeah, I don't need to talk calls. to you, you know? Yeah, it's all incoming calls, yeah. Okay. All right. Telemarkers yeah. calling in. So I'll go to his house and we'll just answer the phone for a week and make a record. Okay, all right. Now, speaking of records, you had the communication one. breakdown record. come out. Now, you but know, Daniel as far as, phone. like, brand new material, or, or, do you have a record, like, ready to come out via Metal it's Blade? It's not or? a record. It's a DVD. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, you know, the media is very... No, no, I put one out last year, about a year ago. Did you put one out of here? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like back in 2015. It. Huh? I guess you didn't buy I it. I pirate everything. I just I autom- I, d- I just download everything off the internet. I don't pay for anything. Right. So then, yeah, I mean, it was on there. Okay. I have it tonight if you want to buy a copy. Awesome. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I got a DVD or audio CD. Okay. Did cool. you ever pirate other stuff? I could stuff use gas money. Plus, I got tolls. Oh, geez, no. Because I'm taking the turnpike home. I got okay. tolls. All right. You All know, right. So... Ten bucks, they'll help with the toll. Well, we could take the. All right, these guys are nice. All right, yeah. so so wrapping things up here, Mr. Jameson, so. Mr. Florentine. How we how are we spending what? this? How are we spending this holiday season? With you. Oh yeah. Right here. Well, I mean, after this. We're gonna do well, a then show. we don't go to the car. And, yeah. and you head home up the turnpike. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Family stuff, family cool. stuff. Tradi- right. We're traditional cool. guys. Cool. Yeah. All right. We're very straight-laced. 
Good Normal deal. guys. Good deal. As you can tell. So, any any new material that you guys are going to be trying out tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I saw something on the way when I was driving down here on the turnpike. Yeah, and, all right, we'll that's see cool. How it's work. Yeah, awesome. Uh, there, was a, there was a funny moment where, we were like, a mile from the club, and this this guy with a bow and arrow had shot right over the car. I was okay. like, wow, good thing it didn't pop my tire. Dude, seriously, because you do not want to get stranded on the turnpike. No. You know? Yeah, well, the, if you don't they won't, AAA won't come on the turnpike either. They use their own tow trucks. And they're all going to be busy with the freaking, uh, you know, checkpoints. That's true. You know? So. But the tow trucks aren't at the checkpoints. They might be if they can't drive away from the scene. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Now what's it? That would be I, me tonight, I, I man. better drive. Well, if you learn anything, it's beware of checkpoints, stay off the turnpike, use local roads, and don't get shot at by a boat. Yeah, right on, right on. Okay. So, you know, for everyone that wants to go check out Jim Florentine's, uh, you know, material, get it online, Metal Blade Records, is that where yeah. everyone's going to get it? Yeah, no, I mean, there's a couple of records on Metal Blade. I got a bunch of stuff out. It's all on my website, jimflorentine.com. Okay. Jimflorentine.com. All, yeah, they're all, all, right. all the shit's up on iTunes, all our stuff. Okay, all right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Don James. We already know where to find all your stuff. Yeah. All right. Been a great supporter. Thank you, man. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, thanks yeah. for the laughs. Appreciate it. Thanks for the laughs. Of course. Well, we haven't done the show yet. Yeah, it's going to be a great night. And you we're didn't laugh once this whole time. You look perplexed most of it. Well, you know, I'm just starting to get to know you guys, you know, and I know you definitely don't have your sense of humor. Clearly, you guys get paid for it. I don't, you know, so, We're getting you know. paid for this interview? No, you're getting paid to do the comedy, man. I don't have a pot to piss in. No. I don't make any money. I'm broke, man. Well, you're married, though. You got to make some money. You'd be surprised, man. No, come on, man. Rich wife. A woman and the kids take everything. Everything. Well, you could put your foot down and just go, look, man, this is this is my money. I'm putting it aside. Yeah, well, you know. But then i got to save it up for the days where, you know, I can have you guys come play my venue, you know? And pay you, like, the celebrities that you are, you know? Wouldn't that be cool? What venue? I'd be like, Merry Christmas. You have a venue? Going to. Rock Titans, man. What, it's going to be a rock club? Yeah, with... Rock comedians, metal Where? comedians. Is it off the turnpike? It's <laughs> right down in Delco, man. Good night. I had a great yeah. time. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>